Hey everybody, welcome to Hobo Sode number 320. This one's brought to you by Phil, not the doctor. This is one of those Hobo Sodes that are available to the general public because I do that on every 10th one. So if you're not used to hearing Hobo Sodes, that's why. If you were supporting the show, you'd probably get a lot more of these. But no. Oh? Hi. Hi. What are you doing? <laughs> what happened? What happened with you? Well, who's speaking? Is Mike? Yeah, how'd you know? Well, it's, uh, you were here a few minutes, right? Yeah, but, you know, I just, I miss you, and I wanted to call you and say hi. <laughs> it, 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 is, uh, it is Mike Kelly's, all right? <laughs> oh, yeah, of course. Uh-huh, yep, that's me. Your, your voice is different. Yeah, it's on the phone, because, uh, you know, yeah. I, I got one of those T-Mobile phones. And it enhances your voice and makes it more sexy. Mm -hmm. So you are you you be around? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm heading up to. Uh, I'm gonna get in the crawl space of one of the apartments. I'm like up in the attic. I'm gonna climb mm -hmm. up. I'm gonna climb up there in a few. You mean in a here or other apartment? Oh, your apartment. I'm gonna climb up there and just climb in and hang out. Hang out with what? Uh, with my with my Walkman. Walkman? Yeah, I haven't ever asked you this, but is it cool if I just get a ladder and I crawl up into the uh, the the attic space up above the apartments? I just want to go. No. In, I want no. I want to go in. I want to go in there and I want to. No. Why not? No. Why? We don't. We don't. Anybody go crime attic. Yeah, but I'm not going to do anything up there. I'm just going to sit up there and listen to my disc man for, you know, music. No, no. And and I'm going to smoke marijuana. No, that's Why? crazy. No, it's not crazy. It's called hot boxing. I'll get up there no. and it'll, it'll be all enclosed and I'll just... Uh, the, don't do that. There'll be mar do marijuana smoke all around me. Hey, don't do that, okay? It, it's cool. I've done this before. I won't get hurt. I'm just going to go up there and hang... I'm going to chill. I'm just going to go up there and I'm going to chill for a bit. So who are you? Michael. Michael who? I was just there. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's me. That, that Michael. Uh, yeah, you sound like not Michael. So. Yeah, well, like I said, it's I got T-Mobile and, you know, they do that voice enhancement thing. But here, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll let me mess around with the settings. Hello? 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 Is, is that better? Do I sound more like Michael now? Hello? No, it sounds so crazy. Well, let me try this one. Hello? Hello? Can you hear me? Okay, I'm just, I, I put it back into the mode I already had it in. Everything's, uh, it's, it's me again. It's Michael. Hello? Hello? Ma'am, what happened? Well, that appears to have chased her off. I'm trying to call apartment buildings. Uh, I just called up every single apartment building in a certain town, and she was the only one that answered. I don't know who she thought I was. I thought she thought I was some kind of maintenance guy or something, but maybe Michael's just a tenant. I don't know. But I had a silly idea that I wanted to try out. I tried this on the last show, and it wouldn't work out. Oh, wait. There's still another apartment left in this town. Maybe this one will pick up. What apartment is Tom? How can I help you? Oh, hey, Tom. I'm a resident here. Uh, I'm up in the, uh, you know, like the attic crawl space, kind of, of my apartment. So uh, what's your name? Roy. And uh, uh, I think you're calling the. I think you're calling the wrong place. You're trying to get a hold of like or apartments. Oh, here on Manitoba. That's where I live. Here. Yeah. At East Manitoba Avenue. Roy, what's your last name? Oh, well, it doesn't, it doesn't matter. I'm not even in my apartment right now. I'm up in the crawl space. Uh, I'm above my apartment. And I had my old frat brother staying here uh, recently, and they rerouted all of my uh, the ventilation hoses from the bathroom fan. I, I'm, I'm calling okay, to fight. I don't, have any, I, I don't have anybody here by the name of Roy. Okay, well, it, it's, not under, it's not under my name. It's under Doug. And 208. Doug. Two, yeah, two oh eight. Okay, how'd you get into how'd you get into the crawl space? Uh, with a ladder. So uh, there's the, no crawl space on the second floor. 
I okay. You're not under. I, I can come up to 208. I can come up to 208 and see what's going on. No, here's the problem: the the hoses for all the bathroom fans, uh, they all run up into the crawl space, you know, up up, up by the roof. Okay. And uh, my frat brothers, they rerouted all of the uh, all of the hoses from all of the other bathrooms, and they sent it all into my bathroom. So whenever any other resident in this building poops, I can smell it. It's just a prank. They hey, did. I'll come up and take a look, but no, I don't. I, I mean, well, no, we'll I don't. I don't need you to take a look. I'm I'm good. But do you guys have any duct tape there? Because I got to reroute these hoses. Because they taped them all okay, together. I'm, I'm, uh, okay, and let, uh, I. Doug's the only tenant I have up in two hundred eight. So I mean, yeah, but I, I stay on the on, I stay on the couch. Well, you can't be in the apartment when he's not there. This is the, okay. I need to come up to two hundred eight and figure and, and no, talk to Doug. No, I'm not even in two hundred eight. I'm I'm in the crawl space right now. I'm just chillaxing and and uh, looking at these hoses and trying to figure out how to undo what my frat brothers did. Well, okay. I don't. I it, I'm I'm still confused on what's going on because I'm the ma- manager maintenance guy here and the. <laughs> The only way you can get into the crawl space is on the third floor. There is no crawl space between Doug's apartment and the third floor. Oh, I, floor. I so know that. But, hit... but the the bathroom hoses, though, you know, the tubes, those big the, tubes that come out of the bathroom fans? There's one. Well, they rerouted, well, one per apartment, but they rerouted them all, so they all, like everyone's fans blow into See, my... I was, I was just up into the, the crawl space two days ago trying to fix one of those pipes and... Of which there building? No... Of apartments. Yeah, but you didn't see what they did, did you? I I walked by, I walked by where his pipe comes out because the only way it can be rerouted to the roof is through the third floor. Because I know that's why I'm up here, and that they they taped them all together, and and you rerouted them all into my bath. Every time someone poops, it's like in my bathroom. It's a good prank. <laughs> That guy sounded stressed the fuck out. And what are the odds that he was just up in the attic so he knows what the hoses look like? Anyway, I'm done with this city. I guess I gotta find another city of apartments to call. Thanks for calling my status, Hey, I- I'm a resident here at the apartments. What number? What? Uh, my phone number? It's on your caller ID. No, you. No, no, you. <laughs> <sighs> Hold on, I'm sorry. You're sm- apartment number. What you need? <coughs> Oh, sorry. I'm in here smoking. I'm in my bedroom smoking here at the apartments. Whew. Okay. Apartment what? What number? Oh, 18. 18? Mm-hmm. I think you should smoke in the room, <laughs> right? <sighs> oh, no, no. I'm smoking like a chimney right now. Do you hear me? <laughs> okay. Uh, oh, God. <laughs> well, can I help you? Uh, I just wanted to find out about the uh, about the tubes up in the, you know, up above the ceiling. You know, the tubes for the bathroom fans. Uh-huh. Uh, I think mine is blowing the wrong way because I'm in the bathroom and I'm smoking a lot, but none of the smoke's leaving the bathroom. Yeah, you cannot smoke in the room. Oh, no, I can. It's just, it's really smoky in here because the fan, it doesn't seem powerful enough. Okay, I'll... I'll send in a maintenance guy. Oh no, I don't need All a maintenance right? guy. Do you th- can I just maybe plug the fan into the outlet where the oven goes so it goes faster? Oh uh, well, I need to. Did you smoke there? Oh, I smoke here all no. the time. Ah, <sighs> oh, that hits the spot. Okay. You can't. You don't smoke. Okay. Yeah, but you don't here. No, I like, okay. but no, I like okay. Here's the problem. So I I noticed this was an issue. So I crawled up into the crawl space, into the attic. I'm in the attic right now, or no, I was in the attic. Okay. Now I'm in my bathroom. It's still not working. So I'm gonna go back up in my my attic. I think I noticed the problem. Priscilla. <sighs> oh, hello. Hello. Hi. Uh, hi, Priscilla. Um. Who is this? Oh, th- uh, th- this is Tim. And I'm in Tim apartment eight- 18. Okay. What'd she do? She just handed you the phone without explaining anything? Yeah. 
Oh my God! Yeah, I'm what so a... sorry about that. I am sorry. What happened? Oh wait, th- this is a different person, right? Than I originally. That, yes, yes. Yeah, oh. I just got the phone headed to she me, was... so you're gonna have to start all over. Oh yeah, I was down in my bathroom smoking a bunch, and uh, the fan was not uh, sucking all the smoke out. You know, the bathroom fan. Okay. So uh, I now went... are you um, are you Priscilla's son? Yes, I am. Okay. And so I I crawled up into the uh, attic, you know, like up there above the apartments. Uh huh. And I found out what happened. My frat brothers they're staying here recently, and they rerouted all of my hoses, uh, so that everyone's poop smells come into my bathroom. Okay. And I, and I noticed this, you know, I noticed the poop smell, but I didn't know why. I just thought my mom was, you know, really poopy lately. Okay. So, um, do you have duct tape? Because I, I need to unhook. Everyone's hoses are draining into our bathroom. Everyone's air hoses. Okay, so for that, I'm going to have to have Kenny um, go there right now and look at it. Oh, no, it's okay. Um, I don't I want... Because I'm actually in the crawl space right now. I'm, I'm up in the attic. I'm disconnecting... Wait, ho- you're in the attic? Like y- our attic? Yes, I'm disconnecting hoses. I'm disconnecting hoses all willy-nilly. You- I, I've got a lay, lay. You're disconnecting hoses in the attic. Yes, willy nilly. We don't have an attic. N- no, it's it's not an attic exactly. It's more just like a crawl space up in the attic. That's where the hoses are. But, Kenny, yeah. Priscilla's son is up in the in the crawl space, disconnecting hoses. There's no crawl space. <sighs> okay, has he ever been up there? Yes. I thought there wasn't one. So there is oh, so one. You're Aha! An Aha! I caught you in a lie. Yeah. So are you in 18? He's going to go up there right now yeah. and oh, look at it. N- well, no, I'm not in the in apartment 18. I'm in the crawl space. You get what I'm saying, right? Like, my old frat brother... I do not. I'm going to put you on speaker, so I... can he come with Okay. Are there any uh, other tenants in in the room currently? Um. Well, there should be one person living there in 18. Oh, I just meant in, yeah. in that room there, because I didn't want to say anything too crazy if there's someone listening. Because, you know, I don't want okay. the other tenants to know what I did to all of their their ventilation hoses in their bathrooms. Are you sure you're calling the right place? Of, uh, I'm on uh, road. 7 uh, road. And you're in apartment 18 disconnecting all the hoses. No, I'm not in the apartment. I'm in the crawl space disconnecting the hoses. Because my frat brothers rerouted all of the hoses, so they all go into my bathroom they also reverse the polarity on my fan, so it blows all the f- the air in instead of out. The, my, my old frat brothers, they're stinkers. You know? Hello? Ma'am? Did I get hung up on? Yeah, yeah, we're oh. here. here. Whoa, oh. That was a close one. So what is it that you want us to do? I'm not sure if this is a prank call or what, so what is it that you want us to do? Oh, no, I just was wondering if you had any duct tape, because that's the main thing I'm missing here. I just need to get some duct tape. If you don't have any, it's no big deal. I'll just go to the hardware store. Yeah, but are you a tenant, though? Yeah, well, I mean, Priscilla is. My mom. Well, yeah, I don't understand why you were even in the cross space. Like, so you're, I think you're confused. Poopy Priscilla, that's what I've been calling her the past month. But... Little, okay, did, well, little did I know. You might want to come to the office and talk to us because I don't know exactly what Okay, well, no, about. it sounds, I'm, I don't mean to upset anyone there. I'm just, I'm going to finish what I'm doing up here, but I'm going to need some more duct tape soon. I'm, I'm trying to reuse the duct tape that's already up here. Okay, sounds good. Thank you. And, um, what'd you guys think of my fake smoking noises? Were they super realistic? Were you like, wow, sounds like Brad's really smoking, but we all know he's not. And I agree with them. That place did not have a crawl space. Like you could tell. <laughs> You know, by the from the pictures. Good afternoon, departments. This is Rosemary. Hey, Rosemary. I'm a tenant here. I, yes, sir. Uh, one of my neighbors, you know, Priscilla. She's like walking by and saw me up in the uh, up in the attic window. You know, up in my roof. I'm up in the roof. I'm in the crawl space right now. And she said I'm not allowed to sit up here and smoke. That's not true, is it? I. What? Hold on. What happened? Are tenants allowed to be up in the crawl space smoking? No. In the crawl? Like, 
in the crawl space in the roof. In the roof? Yeah, yeah. In up the in the crawl space? You know how there's those little bitty windows up there? Up there yeah. But, yeah, I have that open, and I crawled in. I just, I just checked with the regional manager, and she said no. Oh, okay. Too late. How are they getting in the crawl space? Hmm? How are they getting in the crawl space? How are you getting in the crawl space? Uh, with a ladder. With a ladder. Hello? Hey. Hi. Hi. So are you going into the crawl space and smoking? Yeah, well, no, I'm, yeah, I'm currently smoking. I'm in the crawl space. Because I, I know we're not allowed to smoke down in the apartments. So I, I just go up in the yeah. highest point, And I'm not technically in the apartments. No, but you're not definitely supposed to be in the crawl space. Oh, well, why? Like, that's, I, I put down a floor up here. I put down some plywood so I can't accidentally fall, you know, step through the ceiling anymore. So what building are we referring to? Uh, the one below my house. So I, well, I just, what building number is that? Um, 501. Are, are we in A building, B building, C building? Oh, that's what you mean. C building. And I, I, you're cracking up. Are we, did you say E? C. C is in C Charlie. Is cat, Charles? No, yes, Charlie, not cat. Well, cats like meow cats. Well, that would be um, M. That'd be M. Okay, so, and, and you said you're in 501? Mm hmm, yeah. So, yeah, uh, no, it's, it's, we do not want you in the crawl space. Okay. Well, well, last, you know, I used to smoke in the apartment. You guys told me I couldn't do that anymore. In the house. No, because it's smoke free. So we can't smoke in the apartment. So you'll have but, to take a walk and smoke. But I have, somewhere a, else. I have a Peltzer smokeless ashtray. It like sucks all the smoke into it. It's a little device that sits on the table. Looks like yes, but we do not want you in our crawl space. That's not, that's not where you belong. No, nobody belongs in a crawl space. Okay. Well, the reason I'm actually calling. Uh, is because I noticed what my old frat brothers, they were staying here a, a while back. Uh, and I noticed what they did to my bathroom ventilation tubes up here. They rerouted. Okay, and where in and, and what apartment or community do you live in? Uh, it's on East Street. But anyway, they, they um, you know, they, they rerouted all my, all the hoses up here. My old frat brothers, they, they made it so... Everyone's bathroom hoses, they all route into my bathroom. Like they blow into the bathroom instead of out. Okay, and what was your apartment number again? You said it was in Charles. Yeah, and basically that makes my bathroom smell poopy all the time. Okay, but what? I, well, for me to um, fix the situation, I need to know what unit you said again. Oh, 501? 501? I think so, yeah. So like, uh... I'm just going to reroute these hoses. I, I think I know which way they go on. But they not only rerouted my hose, they uh, they switched the fan in reverse. So, Okay, well, airs. you need to get out of our attic. We cannot have you in our attic or in our crawl space. Okay, but I just got to fix these hoses, you know what I mean? No, no, no. We can fix the hoses for you. Well, I'm already up here. I may as well. No, sir, I really don't want you in our attic, so we will I, um, get I, somebody over there to get them fixed for you. I stopped and smoking. And you said Charles 501. Yeah, I put my cigarette out. Okay, that's that's fine. Okay. But we, I, I need you to get out of our attic. Okay. Or well, out of our crawl space. Okay, well, I, I will. I'm just, uh, I'm reattaching my hose at least, so mine works. The rest of them can just drain up in the attic. I don't care. I'll just leave those unhooked. Okay, well, I prefer you to not even mess with our hoses because something could happen to where you're going to cause damage. Oh, no, they're just hoses. It's just air, just moving air around. It's my old frat brothers. It they is moving air, but the air can also cause condensation. So we need to make sure that we can get our people in there oh, I should and we can up. get that fixed. Okay, well, I, I, I think I'm good. Like, I don't really need me. I am almost got it. Like, basically, these are, they just unplug and then you screw them back on and you need to do the little clamp thing. Okay, and Cause, what is your name? Cause th th but they were able to reroute every single hose in this entire building into my bathroom. So I think they... Okay, and but your name, sir? What, that doesn't matter. I'm up in the crawl space. So... Well, I, it, it, well, I need to make a work order. So if I can oh, get your name, I can get a work order. Well, no, that's what I'm saying. I don't really need a work order. 
Uh, I think my well, we frat do brothers... need a work order because we're going to need to go back there and we need to fix everybody else's. No, look, it so was if you can... it was just looking pretty over- overwhelming at first because my frat brothers, I think they bought a bunch of extra tubing. So I'm going to be throwing a ton of tubing out the window right now in just a minute. You know, just all this extra tubing. I think they went out and bought extra tubing and connectors just so they could do this prank on me. And I don't need it, so if you guys want it for repairs, you can have it. Sure, why don't you just leave it on the um, outside and then I'll have my maintenance guy go by and pick it up. Okay, I'm going to start ripping them out right now and throwing them out the window. No, 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 don't don't rip nothing out. Well, no, the, the, these are definitely, uh, the, these were installed recently. The, these this is just my frat brothers playing a prank. They're getting me back because once I hooked up their hot water heater, I, I filled it up with coffee grounds. In that unit? No, no, in their unit. I stayed with them. Over over in Idaho. Okay, and can I can I still get a name so we can get a work order put up so we can um, have this logged, Brian, to where we went up there in the crawl space and got it taken care of? Yeah. Oh, you're not going to need to because I am taking care of it all right now. I'm getting ready to rip all this stuff up. It should be all taken care of. Okay, but we would like to have our maintenance guy check it out. So can can you we get a name? Oh yeah, I already said it's Brian. Your name is Brian? Yeah. Okay, how about a last name? Because the last name is, is easier to pick up when we when we search you in our in our system. Well just go by apartment, like five oh one. Okay, well I don't have a five oh one, that's why I'm trying to get your name to see if I can find out where you're at. Hello? Yeah, hold on. I'm fine. Sir, we don't have a 501, so... All right. What was that? We don't have a 501. Yeah, I'm, I'm not comfortable. You know where Priscilla lives, right? She, she walked right past my window and was yelling up at me about the smoking. You're where? Well, I'm, you know the, the little window up there on the side of the building, the little one up in the roof? I crawled up in that way through the ladder. So that's where I'm, gonna, that's where I'm getting ready to throw out all these uh, pipes. So you're saying you were on the outside of the building and you have that tall of a ladder to get up there? Correct, yes. And your last name again, Brian? Oh, no, I, again. Yeah, I, I, I asked I asked for it once. Yeah, but I know you're saying again, like... Yeah, I didn't get it the first time. Oh, no, I didn't give it out, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, so I'm asking for it again so we can find it in our system. Oh, hold on, i got to start this up. Almost got it. Oh, there it is. Is it possible to get the last thing? Are, are you not hearing the noise? <laughs> Ma'am? Yeah, I am hearing the noise, and that's why I'm concerned. I need to know okay, I, what yeah, apartment you, you really live in. I think my soundboards were broken or something. I'm just trying to hammer here and... And you say you're in C building. Correct, yes. C is C in Charles. C building 501. But are you doing C is in Charles or C is in Cat? 501. Charles is fine. Cat is fine. Who's? They both begin with a C. N- unless they start with a K. True. Anything can start with the K. Okay, well, we'll get our what? maintenance guy over there to see what he can do to help you out. Not anything can start with a K. What about Apple? You can't start Apple with a K. It'd be like Capple. Okay, we're going to get our maintenance guy over there and see if he can help you out. Okay, uh, tell him not to come up my ladder. It's my ladder, and uh, he's not allowed to touch it. Okay, all right. All right, I'm just going to be throwing hoses out the little uh, ventilation window. No reason to be alarmed. Okay, I'll let him know to watch out for the hoses coming out of the ventilation hole. Yeah, I'll just be throwing them, throwing them down there all willy-nilly. Okay, uh, if and they, if they we hit, are in if they hit anybody, California they're, building. They're light. The uh, Charles, C is in Charles. Okay, and you said five ten. Yep. Okay. All right. All right. I love you. I'll have him come over there. Okay. I love you. Thank you. Bye bye. Oh, no, say it backwards. Weird, please. Say what backwards? No, I said say it back. Say I love you back. I I said I love you. Um, I. 
I don't know that person. I really don't say those things back to people that I don't know. You don't tell people you love them? Not if I don't know them. Well, no, you got to love everyone. That's what Jesus would do. We do, but right now... Um, well, if you do, why, don't you, why are you afraid, to, why are you afraid okay? to say it? Just say you love me back. I love you. Thank you. I'm glad you do. All right. Say it back, okay. please. You're making it weird. You're making it really weird. You, it, this is making it very weird. So we're going to get my maintenance please, guy there. So he'll be it. there in a minute, okay? Bye-bye. <laughs> All right, bye. She was just completely ignoring all my sound effects. It was making me think she couldn't hear them. So I'm kind of glad she confirmed that she could. Anyway, I think I'm done with this hobo sode, but I need to play a call that happened in the middle of all of that because I took a little break because a friend of mine messaged me and said, this is weird, look at these texts I'm getting. And they were getting DoorDash texts from Five Guys restaurant. Like she had just ordered Five Guys, but she hadn't. And they were calling her by a different name. They said her name was Rachel. And she's just like, what the hell? How's this happening? So I looked up that name, that Rachel name, and found her phone number and I called her up. I didn't know if it was really going to be her or not. And this isn't an amazing prank call or anything. I just thought it was kind of funny. I'm going to go ahead and paste it in here right now. It's very short. This is Rachel. Rachel? Yeah. Oh, thank God you answered. Uh, this is uh, the manager from Five Guys. It's Steve Dave. Hi. Hi. Did you get your order? I did. Oh, thank God. <sighs> Have you eaten it yet? I, it's hard to hear you. You're cutting out just a yes, little bit. I, I did get my order and I did eat it. How much did you eat? Long. How much did you eat? What? How much did you eat? Why are you asking me this? Well, because it seems a little suspicious that you're saying you had a burger when uh, I'm pretty sure we put the day's deposit in your bag with all the money in it. No, I... What? Rachel, I'm co up now. no, come on. We we. She sounded so panicked there at the end. I just had to let her off the hook immediately and let her know it was fake. I didn't want her to think she'd eaten something bad. But I definitely weirded her out in the middle of weirding other people out at apartment buildings. So that's the end of this hobo. So thanks everyone for listening. Thank you to the sponsor of this one, Phil, not the doctor. All right, bye everybody. I love you. Code monkey, get up, get coffee. Code monkey, go to job. No, you don't. Around with phone numbers and get my number to send somewhere else, period.